I didn't know this about you. You have only just learnt recently how to ride a bike. Okay, that, Whoa. Oh, okay, that is, that is, That's only, not true. that is only slightly true. Okay, go on. <laughs> I, well, I, I hadn't ridden a bike since I was like 10, 11, I don't know. Right. And, uh, and I, I went to um, a friend, Rebel Wilson had this like vacation thing that she yes. brought a bunch of people Rebel to. Rebel Island. Rebel I Island. Go. Bora Bora. Oh, you missed so out. Angry. It was so amazing. And, but the only way, the only way to get around was on, was on, a, was on bikes. Cause right. it, you know, and I was like, I pulled my friend Chrissy aside and I was like, I have not ridden a bike since I was like 10 years old. I don't know that I know how to do it. And everybody's just immediately riding around with their bikes with things in the basket, and, mm. you know, being very cool. And uh, so she like took me around this path. We're like walking with the bike for a while as though like, oh, we were just doing some great riding. Right. You know, the uh, way that people yeah, do, because yeah, yeah. I know how to ride a bike. Um, and then we like found like a secluded area for me to like attempt to ride the bike, fell a bunch of times. No. Eventually got going and then was like, oh, I can't stop. I can't stop. And she was like, right, but we need to turn around. And I was like, well, we're going to have to go around the whole island. <laughs> and we just just like went around this whole little island and so that I could save face because I could only go straight very fast. So hang on, are you, let's get to the bottom of this now. Are you saying that the phrase, it's like riding a bike that, doesn't exist? That expression should change. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying that it isn't like riding a bike. Oh. It, it's like something very difficult and embarrassing. Is what it's like. <laughs> but let's talk about I'm excited by this because we all, everybody here, so many of us loved the first season of Love Life. Oh, thank you. And then the new season is here. But it's a whole new, yeah. so we're following a new character. Tell yeah. us about the changes. So it's kind of like a, like I sort of passed the baton to like the next person who's on their uh, love life journey. And uh, it's uh, William Jackson Harper from yes. The Good Place. He's cheating on The Good Place. He's so good. And he is so good this season. And this season is so good. I'm like in like three of the episodes, yeah. you know, so it's easier for me to be like, guys, this show's so good. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's about his like uh, journey through um, like his life blows up in his 30s so he's on like a kind of different journey but making all the same mistakes because don't we all you know we're all just you know humiliating ourselves for love constantly mm. um but like that was the idea is that it's going to be like you know i'll be in and out of this season and then you know hopefully like the following season, there'll be some connection to the next characters. We're trying to do like a Marvel universe of like adult, you know, uh, like so subdued dramedies. Yeah. You know. That's uh, exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love the whole show. I love the first season. I'm very, very excited for this. Um, I just think it's so well written and brilliantly performed. I mean, it's the whole show's about dating. I say you're a you're a single guy. Oh, I'm out the game now. Don't get me in trouble, James. Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh, really? You're, you're off. The, you're no, off the table. Yeah, you know, I'm. I'm. You know, right now, I'm. We're. I'm in a nice relationship. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I've had. Uh, I've had some. Some sketch dates. <laughs> really, yeah. really going. What's What's the worst date you've been on? Oh, this is bad. All right, so. Um, no one's watching. Yeah, I know, right? So we, we know no one's watching because Anna's here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's New Year's. Oh, this is sketch. It's New, it was New Year's <laughs> Eve. Um, you know, I'm doing the big. It's my first date with this girl. We're going to Katsuya, LA nice. Live. Got the driver, so I don't have to drive. You know, you drink a little bit. And, you know, so everything's all right. And then, you know, just. On the drive and like just how we were kind of hanging out for the day portion, it was like, you know, this is, this is not gonna work. You know, we're just not, we're just not having a good time during the day. So I'm definitely not gonna have a good time at dinner. So at dinner, her friends just so happen to be at the same restaurant. And now I'm at a table with somebody who I'm sketch about and three of her friends. And so I'm like, okay, we're gonna get out of here. So I pull out my phone, I text my friend Pasha. Now, Pasha is my breaking case of emergency. Right. But this is the night we became best friends. Because I, I hit Pasha, I'm like, yo, I need you to come get me. I'm downtown, and I just need you to just come up with something and save me from this date. He's like, dude, I'm all the way in Westlake. It's going to be about an hour drive right now. I'm like, Pasha, I don't care. I need you to come get me. So he drops everything comes in his work uniform. Now, on this hour, I'm ready. I'm in straight improv mode. Anything he comes to tell me, <laughs> I'm about to just work with this, right? So I see him coming. I'm like, all right, here we go. You know, let's get it together. 
And he walks up to the table, doesn't say hi to the girls, just looks at me and goes, Shay, we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now, now I, I'm looking at him because I'm like, an hour. You had an hour. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. So I look at him, I look at the ladies, and I go, I gotta go. And I, I stand up, I put two bills on the table, and we dipped. Oh, I yeah. love Pacha. <laughs> oh my God. But the fact that he dropped everything in work uniform and yeah. came up with a story that great, I was like, yo, this is, this is my writer forever. <laughs>